What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video and in today's video I got my boy Johnny and that's why the quality of the video is already so much higher You know, the boy Johnny holding the camera and whatnot. Um, so today's video, Johnny, are we yes. taking out a spin yes. on Technically, would, would map 1 be considered stage 1? Like on JB4, it's really? like map 1 through map 8 oh, So it is a little know. different that's kind of, I don't know. It's a little bit different. So, um, would you, the thing is with uh, burger tuning and JB4 and all that kind of stuff. So, the JB4, um, it has map one and map two. We can actually rock. So, oh, so I actually get into this first off. We're going to be taking Jonathan out on the spin in this Supra. <laughs> first off, did I ever take you on a spin in the Supra yet? Uh, once when it was like still had the damage on the quarter panel. So, like, we barely went maybe 15 miles. And we an went hour. down the street. And, and then came right back. And then and all the uh, lights faded on the dashboard. Yeah. yeah. It was a great day. <laughs> it was a great day. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so basically, um, it's going to be the first time Jonathan's actually going to experience the regular power of B58. And then on top of that, we're going to go um, 3 PSI up. Ooh. And then we're also going to try 4 PSI up on map Ooh. 2. Um, okay. The car is just on regular E80. Uh, no, 91. Regular E85, he says. <laughs> uh, I, I don't got that more. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, there's actually like no gas stations out here. I was going to do it for the video. But there's, there's like nothing. no gas stations out here that has it. Yeah. Um, there's this one that I thought next to In-N-Out, but that one pump is like closed. No so way. that was the only one that I know of and that pump was closed unfortunately. Because if we did do 85, I think we could have went up to 6 PSI, oh, which would have been freaking dope. Be but I mean, for the meantime, again, that's the thing about the JB4 that I really like. A lot of people are like telling me, Nor, why didn't you just go boot mode and stuff like this? Guys, this is a brand new car, first off. I don't want to avoid the warranty, that's number one. Second thing, the JB4, when the car is like struggling or something's freaking out, the JB4 will automatically put the car in limp mode. So it's it, it protects your car. It's just more of like a, it, it's, it's, it's a fun toy, but at the same time, it's not a reckless toy. Exactly, that's true. That's I all agree. I gotta say. So mm -hmm. before actually getting into it, taking Jonathan out for his first spin on the Supra, which is gonna be very fun, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I had to show you the engine bay as well with all the new burger tuning products. Taking it out for a spin include me driving it. Yes, you get to drive oh. as well. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> we got these carbon, so I, as you guys know, we already got a lot of carbon fiber on the car. We did some carbon fiber um, little overlays over here. Carbon fiber front lip, carbon fiber side skirts, carbon fiber rear spoiler, and carbon fiber rear diffuser. Um, we do also have a carbon fiber steering wheel coming in from Ozza. That should be the next video, guys. That thing looks ooh, beautiful. Oh, good. Um, so one thing is, I don't know if you guys remember in the last video, um, I did mention that this piece right over here was damaged. Um, I ended up just ordering a new piece instead of, I was, so my original thoughts were, get some carbon fiber, slap it on it, and no one will know. But the thing is, guys, we did so such good work on this car, perfected absolutely everything to the point to where I don't want to just cover up damage. Um, so we're, we actually ended up going to um, Extreme Online Store, I believe that's their website, and they have these carbon fiber overlays. Just got some 3M on there. So um, again, nothing permanent. Nothing I'm putting on this car is permanent um, just because it does look really good though. It's hard to see in the lighting though. It is real carbon. Turn it, turn it over real quick. Like that right there. Oh, you can kind of see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it does, it does look pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, just again, but nothing here is permanent. So I'm gonna be putting this on the car. Hopefully it's gonna look really good. It should be the two side blades on both sides. A lot of people tell me also to wrap the roof black. Ooh. Might look good as well. I don't know yet. Um, it doesn't look like it would be too difficult even. Nah, it's a very small roof. There's no antenna on here. Yeah, that, that's what makes yeah, it Yeah, I think it's actually be a fairly easy uh, modification. If that's something you guys wanna see, comment down below. Uh, but without further ado, let's just go ahead, peel these suckers back and uh, saw a new carbon fiber A pillars. Yes. super nice it that's actually, actually like, really nice it goes like it fits like a glove you know what i mean that's perfect so it is really nice i was kind of afraid that it was gonna look a little tacky it actually fits really nice yeah the no, it fits really good it's perfect and I, I don't know if that's a factory thing but it adds a groove here yeah it's kind of interesting it is kind of interesting it's a little accent that i'm digging let's go ahead and close the door it shuts that's good that's very good what do you think johnny Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna Gloss lie. or carbon? Come over here real quick. Let's check this out. It's gonna be hard to tell on camera. Yeah. For sure. I think it looks good. It's like a, I think it, it looks like black, but like yeah. when it's pumped to it, it's like the. I mean, I carbon like always it. looks baller. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, I like it. It does look really good. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is something I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I might be a little bit too much carbon, but guys, actually, this looks really good. And if you guys want to check these out, I'm gonna have the link down below. First link. Uh, they did actually send these out. I reached out to them and. 
they were honestly kind enough to send those out. I was going to buy it regardless because, again, I was trying to patch up that other thing. But we ended up going the right route. Went to Toyota, got a brand new A-pillar, and we're slapping carbon on top of it. And so far, so good. Did it send you two of the same side? It sent you two of the same side? <laughs> what the freak? So much for this video. <laughs> hey. you put it in the video, it's fine. Yo. Yo. Bro, I really... <laughs> <laughs> the game was still the same side, bro. Bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I should have checked that first. They gave us the accident. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope this doesn't damage our A pillar because so. uh, these are very fragile. These A pillars, oh. like I just uh, at this point, I might leave this side on and just wait for them to send us another one. Oh, what happened? What the freak? That's... I think they grabbed two off the shelf and they just mislabeled the packaging on one of these. But basically, I'm supposed to get one left, one right. I have two lefts now. But all <laughs> right, I'm gonna take this off. Fingers crossed it doesn't damage it. Kind of a rip to the beginning of today's video, but that just shows you guys we do YouTube. Doesn't go according to plan sometimes. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. That's true. But uh, <laughs> hey, we still got a nice JV4 video coming up, so we're gonna figure out a way to get this off and come back, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys. The man, the myth, the legend. You know what every car guy's. You know why every car guy works on his car? Why? So you can show the next guy his car. That's <laughs> uh, very true. It's very true. I mean, let's be honest. If no one's looking at your car, bro, <laughs> you'll just drive a Civic. Like, let's be that's straight true. up. That is I mean, that, guys, Civics, fuel economy, you already know. Um, Jonathan's actually going to be doing a sick photo shoot of my car. And, uh, yeah, so first things first, Jonathan's car is in the garage, just tucked away, just chilling like a villain. Dang, are you taking photos and stuff? Ooh. Look at that. Shit, bro, the yellow just hits hard. It hits, bro. The yellow is just okay. beautiful. Guys, make sure to check out his Instagram down below. And my Instagram's going to be down below as well. I'm actually posting dedicated. So basically, I don't know if you guys remember, but I, I started kind of a Patreon build on the X5. I ended up pretty much deleting my Patreon, mainly because it did feel weird. It felt weird that I had to separate my content between my uh, my Patreons and uh, you guys, of course. Um, you guys supported me since day one, and I'm just going to let you guys know this, obviously. Uh, this build... I actually, I picked up an E90 as a daily because right now the Supra is my daily. I'm putting too many miles on it and it just absolutely hurts. So I decided to pick up this E90. It's an M Sport LCI, which is pretty crazy. 328i uh, factory M Sport in this like super rare blue. But obviously you guys know your boy. I get everything at a super good deal. And uh, at, at, that, at that good deal price, it has a lot of paint fade all over the car. Um, front bumper is surprisingly well. Fenders are good. Doors are good. Side skirts are good. It's pretty much the quarter panels, the trunk, the rear bumper, and the hood. Um, roof is actually surprisingly good as well so we're probably gonna do a full restoration on this and do all the little things that fix it up and just make it a beautiful daily um this is actually gonna be built on my instagram so for those of you guys who want to see that it's gonna be on my instagram the reason i'm not building it on this channel um is because we have an e91 project and uh i showed jonathan the donor car so which sick. dude it's Something. insane bro it is excited for that bro that thing's mid so <laughs> you guys are hopefully going to be seeing that soon as well but as for now we do want to focus on the super because that is my baby and uh yeah i mean so far some new additions to the car as you guys know um i mean everything is pretty much a new addition but we have this new intake scoop you guys can see it a lot better in person than on camera it sticks out like a sore thumb in person which looks so good um but johnny johnny it's all about the engine big bro check this out pop this bad boy open <laughs> there's bro, actually bro. not a lot going on but this thing this makes all of a difference sick. bro this i'm pretty sick a, dude that's crazy so those are from burger tuning um i don't know if you see over there as well we have an oil catch can oh what the heck isn't it very like that. subtle i didn't even see bro it's cops a, are, if i didn't see it yeah, cops yeah. are not gonna see they're it. not gonna see that bro it's a very that subtle so and OEM. look how look it goes through the engine cover like it's so a very OEM clean, yeah, 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 I love it. That's a, it's a new um, like thing Burger Tuning's been doing. Honestly, just kind of make it kind of like an OEM uh, look, and I absolutely love that. Um, the JB4 is actually tucked away right down there. As you see, the JB4 cable it's going right over here. Things you won't really notice. Um, again, like from this engine bay, it looks pretty stock, but we actually have a JB4, an oil catch can. We have these strut braces, and if you look in there, very faintly. Oh, bro, ooh. do you know your oil filter is back there on a B58? That's kind of weird, dude. That is a pain. That is actually kind of a pain. Imagine the mess. Oh, no. Bro, like, it was up here originally, and I, I liked uh, the cap was over here, too, bro. It would look so much better. It but it's all the way back there. For 
for God knows what reason, bro. I don't understand that. Yeah, that's a little odd, but yeah, yeah. I mean, only all the oil filters in the front. <laughs> I <say> BMW. As <laughs> I'm looking at the Toyota, <laughs> it's a Supra, but it's a BMW. <laughs> I mean, this end is the same thing. If you guys buy a B58 440i, your oil filters gonna be the back, right? I'm pretty it sure is. it should be the it same, right? It should be the same. I don't yeah. Know. So it's just it's just kind of odd. If if the oil filters in the front on a 440 and they relocated it, um. I don't know what Toyota was thinking, That's but so weird. it is super weird. But anyways, guys, um, this is not just all for show. We do have some power now underneath this hood, which is gonna be some pretty exciting stuff. You're gonna be driving this car as well, bro. So actually, should I just let you experience it? Here's the keys, oh, my G. Snap. <laughs> don't crash me, bro. <laughs> we yeah. just got this thing fixed I after three months, it. bro. I won't crash it. All right, all right. My, my N54 is pushing way more power. Oh, uh, he, is, do I do I sense a race, bro? Ooh, do I sense a race? Maybe, maybe. All right, meet me at I five, dog. Ten p.m. at night, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. No, no, I'm not gonna bring any lot. <laughs> I'm honestly super scared about doing that stuff, guys. Like, I mean, I like building cars, but honestly, I don't really, I don't really drive them like crazy. Yeah, if I have a little bit of power, I'll accelerate quickly, but I honestly don't break any laws. It's just like me. I'll flex a little bit. On honestly, here. guys, this interior it feels. Like, bro, when you sit in this thing, Bruh. it feels really tiny and exotic, right? It does. And, like, if you guys look at the back, too, it's, I don't know. Like, I really, really, really dig this car. When I said I like this more than the F80 and the M4, like, I'm not lying. I genuinely do. And it's very comfortable. I think the suspension comes out of an M2 Comp. So, suspension from an M2 Comp, the the the, the engine's from a B58. And then, obviously, you got the Supra name. I think it's, a like, honestly, it's an amazing car. Absolutely love it. And I love the color combination as well. Um, look at that. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. damn certified it's, YouTube kit, bro. So sick. What the Dang, if it's perfect. I know, I know. You trying to buy this car just for that one reason? How much? <laughs> How much? Come on, bro. <laughs> and right. the yellow seatbelts. Yeah, we got the yellow seatbelts, bro. Hopefully, we'll be throwing in the Aza steering wheel soon, guys. It's going to be pretty clean. Okay. This is no tune. Because, dude, this thing's pretty quick with no tune. Is it pretty low? Do I have to worry? Uh, okay, so. What the <laughs> frick? <laughs> That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Why did it so, do that? It, I wasn't even close to so it. So this is technically a Toyota as well. So that's Toyota technology. If it thinks you're gonna hit something or scrape your car, it's gonna automatically stop. I know it scared, bro. At first, it was doing that in the garage when I backed up. It just stopped. I thought there's something wrong with my car, and I looked into it. It's just like a Toyota preventative crash. So when you get super close to a car, it breaks and slams on the brakes. The car was so far back. Yeah. yeah so the only no no no. That's the floor. Oh, this is yeah, it's being very picky, so you have to angle it because my driveway is very steep. That's the only thing I just don't like. I'm not gonna lie. I can't even do it. Yeah, yeah, you have to go forward. What the freak? And you have to angle it so much more. But I would angle it the other way. Other way. Yep. You can go ahead and downshift. Can I, can I put it over? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can use the paddles. Yeah, paddles. Oh, downshift one more time. Go for it. Just pulls up. Oh, bro, don't do bro, this thing is fast. This thing is quick as, bro. Oh wait, hold on. I think I could be on map one. I could be. All right, so actually, guys, uh, my bad. We were on map one. Actually, that that was that did feel pretty good. That felt quick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it back. I'm gonna take it off map one, put it on map uh, zero, which basically means we're turning off the tune. Again, map one, three psi, 91 octane. Uh, map two is nine. Uh, we're actually gonna try map two as well. You can do that while uh... while driving. Wow. Which is super nice wirelessly on your phone. Again, there is some really like people. A lot of people just talk. You know, like you have to try. Like different tuners are nice. I love I, I love boot mode. Like I absolutely love boot mode. I never tried MHD. Have you tried that? I have not tried that actually. Yeah, yeah. So I do want to try MHD. I love boot mode and I love uh, JB4 because they're they're unique. They're different in for specific cars. If I had an N54, I would want uh, what's it called. Uh, JB4 with an MHD. That's, yeah, that's me. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would want. But if I had like an F30, genuinely, I'd probably go with boot mode just because, you know, <laughs> I mean, it, it, the cars are not too expensive. All right, feel that? All right. So now we're gonna we are officially on map zero. Map zero. All right. So go ahead. Woo! Still pretty quick though. It's quick. Yeah, it's pretty quick. So, oh my God, bro! Everything's nice. <laughs> he's about to, he's about to click the Cito ejecto for me, and about to take my Supra, guys. This car, I, I, I'm not lying. It's a beautiful car. I right, hit it one more time. All right, all right. So that was on map zero. 
Let's go ahead and click on map two. We are changing it right now to map two. That's that's crazy. You can literally do that. Just yeah, just like clicking a button, you can check your RPMs and everything. Well, the Pretty heck? clean. I'm not gonna lie. So at this point, guys, stage three. We're, we're on map two right now, map bro. Two, map so two. careful. Go for it. Oh, well, it's way faster. Way faster. It's way freaking faster, <laughs> dude. That's how you can actually feel it. The th in the throttle. You can feel it in the throttle, like, like it's definitely like you press on it, and it actually feels like it's going right away. Uh, we're gonna try. Well, we're gonna try it again. Um, There's a lot of cars. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna probably take a left, not at this light, the next light. We do have a little bit more open land, and we'll try it over there. You guys tailing me, man. Yeah. What is this Accord up our butt for? That's crazy. Bro. <laughs> No, bro, I love uh, this car. I've been driving it literally everywhere. That's why I had to get it daily because with a car with only 5,000 miles, you don't want to put 5,000 miles in a month, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, it just hurts. But uh, yeah, it is a good, uh, thankfully everything looks like everything checked out. T TPMS is back in order. Yeah, no lights on the dash, guys. This thing has been solid since we uh, got everything stored. And God bless. Okay, go left here. Yeah, take a left right here. Do you hear those pops? Factory pops, bro. That's Factory pops. Freaking crazy, bro. That is that is honestly crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, bro, I want a V15. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the power delivery is so nice. Bro, it, and it's so smooth. So smooth and you like, feel it though. It, the car is so comfortable, and you have power. Yeah. Like it's amazing. I absolutely love it. That's true. That's crazy. Yeah, the, I, I literally the M4 feels like similar power. It does have more on the higher end. Like literally, turbo kicks out of nowhere. Um, in the higher RPMs, uh, but also it's not as comfortable because the DCT is not, it doesn't harsh. shift. Yeah, it's very harsh. Very harsh. So um, yeah, there is some positives, but I mean, if you like that aggressive sporty vibe, the M4, that's where it's at. You know what I mean? This is more of like somebody likes power, but also likes comfortability. Anyhow, we are, yeah, now on map two, four PSI. This one we can do 91 to 93 octane. Uh, again, if you want to do six PSI, bro, we got to do 93 plus octane. Yeah, we don't have, well, unless you go down to the track, they have that over there. Three, two, one. All right, bro. Oh, careful. I was trying to scare you. Bro, this guy. I'm not going to lie, I was trying to scare you. Bro, you're you're car. literally gunning it at a turn. <laughs> I thought, bro, but hey, 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 it shows how good the car is, though. Yeah, yeah, that thing grips, bro. That's why I was trying to scare you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say. scared, though. I'm about to say. Though. If I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Loki scared me, bro. We just got this car on the road, dog. Bro, don't, bro. If I didn't feel comfortable, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, no facts. You know? It is, isn't it? Isn't it that comfortable? It's crazy. All right, oh, we're gonna, bro. We're gonna put it back to ninth, uh, map one right here. Yeah, the pops are freaking nice. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is. Uh, we're officially back felt, on map one. I felt it being a little bit slower. The different, right? I, I'm not gonna lie. I felt yeah, it me being too. Slower. I felt that right there. Which is this is super nice. Isn't it super? Uh, let's catch a poppy U-turn. There's a lot of cars over there. But isn't it super nice that you can Bro, just switch? That's crazy. It is super nice. We're about to take off. Coming up to a Three PSI. All right, slow down, slow down. All right, hold on. I want to try map two again. Because that, that was three PSI, but four PSI felt like a big difference. The four PSI felt way different. Yeah, 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 okay. Now we're trying four PSI map two. Right, so about to go on another turn right now. <laughs> Go for it. Bruh. So much faster. Bro. God mode unlocked. <laughs> so much faster. It's, it's actually insanely faster. Bro. Yo. What a difference. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty crazy how fast that is. Dang, I really, I need to start taking my cars to the dyno, bro. You should, bro, I wanna do, let's do it. We I wanna, wanna do, do it? Too. Bro, if we find a place, uh, we just do it right here. Actually, we trying to eat, right? Yeah. Yeah, take a left, man. We need to get some in and out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally we did a celebratory meal. So things that happened <laughs> off video. Today, um, uh, Jonathan came over. We did some filming for his channel. And then also we picked up that E90. That apparently, like, that it was the sketchiest transaction I could have ever done. Oh, like, man. getting that car, bro. And thankfully, the registration, the tags, everything went through. We got the car registered. Uh, still needs a lot of work, but God bless. Anywho, uh, we are heading in and out because why not, you know? Uh. How do you feel, bro, driving this? Dude, I need a B58. Like, I love my N54. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I used to not like N54, 
Now I do, but now I need a B58. Bro, B58 is pretty much the new N54. It is. It but more reliable. Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of. If you get a first gen B58, oh, you're about to hit it again? Not too good. Not too, not too crazy, not too crazy. Okay, okay. Maybe right here. Third gear pull, ready? Third gear pull. Bro, I'm still getting stuck to the back of my seat. We got up to like... Oh no, 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 that was 25. 25. 25 and, and, some, and, and some change. You're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> he was lying, guys. I don't know. He's not, he was looking at, you know, the, the time. I was looking at the RPMs. The, yeah, yeah, the RPMs, exactly. 9,500 RPMs. Yeah. All right, guys, actually, before we actually enjoy these In-N-Out burgers, we're going to be trying to do a little bit of a photo shoot. Just because Jonathan's here, this guy's a professional and a wizard with the camera. And I want to get some new shots with this whole carbon kit on this car. I think it'd be super sick. Plus, of course, the new engine upgrades as well. Um, guys, again, this car is absolutely amazing. And literally, the idea of me having to sell it to go to the R8, it's like, mm, do I really need an R8? But at the same time, the reason I'm even here and I have this car is because I never stopped chasing my goal. The goal is the R8, and I have to keep content that that is the goal and not settle with anything in the meantime. As much as I love this car, man, guys, and we made this to perfection. And just like that, guys, we ordered food about 20 minutes ago, but Jonathan won't stop taking photos. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, you're in cinematic mode right now. It came out really good. Oof. Like, bruh. Bruh. I don't think you're walking into it. Woo. Guys, this car and this lighting right now, like, bruh. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like, words just, God bless. I... I'm so happy we pulled through with this build, guys, and it just ended up, I'm just so happy I ended up getting this car, too. We did definitely overspend on it, but I mean, just these memories in life, it's definitely worth looking back at, and like, wow, just gorgeous. And just like that, guys, we are officially back inside. That was honestly a great day. It's one of those days that I get to kind of enjoy with my friends and actually just drive around my car. Me and Jota used to film so many videos together back in the day, and he possibly is gonna be moving a little bit closer in the near future. And if that's, I mean, not in the near future, but po it's a possibility that one day, possibly, he would be moving a little bit closer, and it'll be super sick uh, to start filming again, because honestly, it's just a different vibe, and I truly enjoy it a lot, a lot more. If you guys enjoyed more of this vlog style, um, JB4 experience, kind of like power videos, uh, in a sense, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are excited to see the next video on the Supra, which is installing the new Ozda carbon fiber steering wheel, which will look so, so, so good, make sure to smash the like button. And if you guys are excited for me to finally get onto that E91 M3 project, because we finally got that donut car, make sure to smash the like button. So without further ado, guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. I love y'all so so much remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.